Welcome to the frozen ice cold tundra that is the CrossFit Games media press room. It is at least negative 40 degrees in here right now. There is no Wi-Fi, but we're surviving. Uh, the few of us that have decided to stick around. People have been telling me that they really appreciated the statistics that I posted out yesterday, so I figured I'd hop on camera again today and share a couple more statistics with you today. Uh, today we are gonna look at uh, recurring movements in the CrossFit game. So again, going back to 2012, so the last uh, seven years of CrossFit games, uh, we are gonna look at uh, movements that have come back, how many times they came back, and the people that really excel at those movements. So the first one is one that uh, I think Dave Castro just dies a little bit inside with laughter every time he programs it, and that is running. So running has popped up in some form or capacity 21 times in the last seven years of the CrossFit Games, for individuals at least. Um, Jan Koski on the men's side has done fantastic, especially on endurance runs. On the women's side, they actually we have a lot of uh, of parity uh, when it comes to the women. We have we have those that are excelling uh, more in those long endurance runs, and we have those that are excelling more on the kind of shorter sprint runs. Now on the sprint side, Kristen Holta and Turi Helga Dotter really excel when it comes to short-term sprints. On the longer end side, those endurance runs, Chris and Holt is still really great at those, but Sam Briggs and Tia Claire Toomey have just torn it up. The second most common event uh, involved, or sorry, movement programmed in events is a squat. Now this could be any kind of squat. This could be a goblet squat, this could be an overhead squat, it could be anything that involves a squat like a squat clean or a squat snatch. But squat has popped up 15 times in the last seven years. That's an average, just slightly over uh, twice in every CrossFit Games uh, since 2012. On the men's side, the, the athletes that really excel are Patrick Fellner and Royce Dunn, and then Scott Panchik, but with Scott Panchik, it's more like those super high speed squats where you uh, crank, them, crank them out, not necessarily super high weight. Um, Tied for the squat is the clean, and again, this could be uh, power clean, squat clean, anything that involves a clean, and that's uh, that has popped up uh, on average a little bit over two times in the last seven years. Uh, Rasmus Anderson and Samuel Quant have really excelled on the men's side. On the women's side, uh, Sarah Sigmund's daughter and Tia Claire Toomey uh, do great when it comes to cleans. Uh, fourth on there is events that involve rowing. And events that involve rowing, uh, we're looking at uh, any, any range of distances, right? But uh, the two that really stand out are Lucas Esslinger and Sam Briggs. Those are both athletes that um, have won um, when it comes to rowing events. Esslinger specifically won the marathon row last year and frankly rowed a marathon a lot faster than I would have run one. Uh, muscle ups come in 11 times in the last seven years. Logan Collins and Willie George on the men's side, and then uh, Jamie Green and Laura Horvath on the women's side. Uh, you can remember Laura Horvath just tore it up with muscle ups last year uh, for her breakout rookie season. Um, and then odd objects. Uh, we've had 11 odd object workouts on the men's side. Brent Fikowski is just incredible when it comes to odd objects. And then uh, Chris and Holta uh, popped up uh, numerous times for odd, odd object workouts. You'll you'll hear uh, the name Chris and Holta a lot in that in that first list. Um, it's very possible that Holta will have an incredible year again this year. Um, I mean, looking at other other things that kind of pop up, swim has popped up every year for the last seven years on the men's side. Brent Fikowski, uh, Dean Linderleeton, uh, who won the uh, Madison Triplets last year, uh, James Newberry and Jan Koski. On the women's side, Sam Briggs and Tia Claire Toomey are all super comfortable in the water. Um, things like uh, handstand walks. Um, 
you may not remember uh, because it's been a couple of years, but Jacob Hepner is incredible when it comes to handstand walks. And then last year, uh, Brooke Wells won the handstand walk obstacle course. Uh, but other female athletes that are great um, from those inverted positions are Courtney Haley and Katrin Davis' daughter. What else, man? Um, I mean, when you go down the list, there are some uh, staples. I mean, just. Uh, when you go into a box, movements that you would think are, are super important and involved in every CrossFit uh, gym that are not uh, programmed a lot. Uh, specifically, push-ups, wall balls, and toes to bar have each only popped up once in the last seven years. Uh, one of my favorite events that pop up every year is anything involving a yoke or a sled. And when it comes to yokes and sleds, uh, Sleds, where are you sleds? I know sleds are on here. So sleds uh, popped up nine times in the last seven years. Brent Fakowski, Jacob Hepner, Lucas Hogberg, and Patrick Vellner have all done great in those. And then on the women's side, Alessandra Pacelli, uh, Catherine Davis' daughter, and Laura Horvath have torn it up. And then Yokes, Brent Fakowski, again, great with odd objects. Uh, and then on the women's side, uh, Annie Torres' daughter, Katrin Davis' daughter, and Laura Horvath. So there you go, another deep dive into statistics. I'm gonna uh, hit the books again and hopefully share more with you soon. All right, tomorrow, man, 2019 CrossFit Games. <laughs>